Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna learn about the cut break, the nine ball cut break. I'm gonna show you and help you guys to break like a champion. First things first, the stance. How do we stand when breaking? So here you can see I've got two balls together. If I was playing a regular shot, like trying to pop the ball, I'd stand very square off. So there you can see the ball. That's very square on. But the problem with that is when you're breaking, I don't feel like you can get the power. You've not got as much like rotation through your legs. So I think standing more in line with the cue ball and the one ball, so you've got this rocking motion. So kind of like this. So all them balls are in a line and that allows you to get the rocking motion and power through the break. And there you see both feet facing forward towards the cue ball and the pack. Excuse the mess under the table. And this will ensure power through the legs, through the break. That's the stance. Next, number two, the cue ball. Where to hit on the cue ball. So there you can see center left of the cue ball. You can see the two red lines. That's like a little football net goal. You can use the diamonds as a guide on your table. In my experience, when the cue ball goes towards that goal with the correct spin, you always get a good split. Now, this is what may happen if you hit high left on the cue ball. You want to avoid this. the cue ball can arc down and go near this pocket and if you hit low left that will mean you're putting some draw on the cue ball and you can often scratch in the side there you see the cue ball goes near the pocket and also comes up towards the top left pocket so that's dangerous as well and next number three where to hit the one ball so there you can see the two arrows, bottom diamond and the jaw of the pocket and the red circle is a rough guide to where you want to be aiming on the one. Let's have a look from the side, look at the black eight which is the wing ball and just watch where the cue ball goes in between the diamonds, cue ball back out to the centre of the table. Number four, how hard to hit the cue ball. So we're gonna hit a few break shots here. There you can see 20 kph. Soft break, wing ball straight in. And let's have a look at break number two. Again, this is the softer version of the cut break. Watch the orange five, straight in the pocket. That's 21 kph. And then break number three. Again, watch the orange five, which is the wing ball. That goes straight in, 19.94. So that's just a little guide for you. And just bear in mind the three point rule if you're playing your own rules. Now we're gonna try and make the head ball in left center. So this will require a harder break. And there you can see 32.27 kph. Cue ball was flying around a bit though. So it can be a little bit dangerous. And break number two, yeah, the one ball again. There you see the cue ball was lost, 32.45. And then the final break. One ball went a bit high, 30.07. So that's something to bear in mind and play around with and have a go. So there it is, that is the nine ball cut break. There's some tips and tricks for you there so you can go on your practice table, have a go, look at the speed, look at the wing ball, the one ball, see where it's all going and landing. If you're struggling with anything, 
put a comment in the comment section, ask any questions you like, I will answer them as soon as I can. Don't forget to share, subscribe, like the video, do all that. Again, thanks for watching.